Hello children. Today I have come with come to you with a new story from Dimple's Joy of Storytelling. The name of the story is The Wind and the Sun. The wind was very strong. He was the north wind and he could blow across the hills and across the sea. He could make a storm blow up and he could make brave men frightened. The sun was very strong too. He was the mighty sun and he could shine in the sky all day. He could make the trees green and he could make the rivers laugh. I am stronger than you, said the north wind. He blew a big strong wind. It whistled through the space and blew an old woman into a fence. What's the point of showing off and harming somebody else like the north wind was doing? I am stronger than you, little son, the north wind said and laughed at poor son. Is that what you think, North Wind, my friend? Said the sun. You think you are as strong as the mighty me? We shall see about that. So now they decide to have a competition. Who is stronger? He looked down from the sky. Do you see a man? He asked. The one who is walking along the road? Yes, said the North Wind. I see him. Now, we'll find out who is stronger, said the sun. If you can make that man take his coat off, you will win. But if I can make him take his coat off, I shall win. I shall be stronger than you, my dear friend. The north wind laughed. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, little sun, he said. What sort of competition is that? I shall blow that man's coat off in a jiffy, in a second. The sun simply smiled. Why don't you have the first try, my friend? He said calmly. Let me see what you can do. Very well, said the north wind. Keep back, everyone. Give me space to blow. Here I am already. Go. And so the north wind began to blow. He blew as he had never blown before. He blew and he blew and he blew with all his might. The man on the road looked up. What a terrible wind. And what did he do, do you think? He pulled his coat right around him. I'll blow that coat off, shouted the north wind angrily. He called up a terrible storm of rain and snow and wind. I'll blow it right off. But the man only pulled his coat tighter and tighter around him because he started feeling very cold. The north wind was finally very tired. You need some rest, my dear friend, said the sun with a smile. You must be tired. Now it is time for me to try. And so the north wind stopped. The rain and the snow stopped. And the sun came out. The man looked up. Ah, how good it feels. The sun feels after the storm, the cold, the wind, the rain, he said. How good it feels on my back. He was enjoying the warmth. The sun said nothing. He just showed and he showed and he showed. It feels so good, said the man with a smile. And in no time at all, he stopped. And what do you think he did? He took off his coat because he started feeling warm. The sun and the north wind looked at the man walking along the road with his coat 
in his hand. How happy he looks, said the sun. He smiled at the north wind. You are very strong, my dear friend, he said. But to blow and blow on people is not a good way to make them do what you want. Here, sun is talking about anger. He's trying to tell the north wind that if you're always angry, people are not going to listen to you. They may be frightened for a while, but they won't listen to you. But if, if you tell them things very calmly and with love, they will definitely do what you want them to do. No, said the north wind. I see that now. And I see now, O oh mighty sun, which one of us is the stronger? So here this is more about love and not about strength. Okay? I'll come with a new story next week. Subscribe to me and have fun with this one. Bye. Take care.